In a land where fruits danced in the sun, a colorful character known for his tropical zest explored the bountiful orchard. A sly fruit craving mischief plotted in the shadows, stealing the prized watermelons of the orchard. Urgency filled the air as fruity whispers spread under the twinkling stars, signaling a quest for justice. A trio of resolve with wits as sharp as pineapple leaves strategized a daring mission to reclaim their stolen treasure. A dark figure hovered in the shadows, eyes gleaming with mischief, determined to thwart their noble quest. Fruits scattered like a kaleidoscope in a frantic chase, rolling and tumbling in a whirlwind of colors as the thief Mango raced ahead. With ingenuity born of desperation, a barricade of grapevines and strawberry stems rose like a wall, halting the relentless thief in his tracks. Quick-witted and cunning, the fruity trio orchestrated a symphony of teamwork, outmaneuvering the ever-crafty adversary with their unity. As the sun dipped below the horizon, peace and harmony bloomed once more in the orchard, fruits of all kinds embracing in a jubilant celebration under a sky painted with a rainbow. The town woke up in a sea of black, the streets glistening under the morning light. Bewilderment etched on their face as they grasped the eerie transformation around them. A cunning plot unfurls as darkness conceals the orchestrator of the slumbering spell. A union of bravery and wit as minds align in a quest to break the magical stupor. Her surge of determination as they venture into the unknown, fueled by a shared resolve. The unintended cascading chaos, a consequence unforeseen, shattering their hopes like fragile glass. Redemption blooms in an unexpected heart, steering the turbulent tide towards uncharted shores. Harmony restored, a trinity bound by newfound understanding, basking in the vibrant aftermath of their shared triumph. Amidst the whispers of a rejuvenated town, a shared understanding dawns, weaving a tapestry of empathy and unity in their hearts. In a magical land filled with a rainbow of fruits, a captivating figure beckons the children to explore its world. Intrigued by the array of exotic fruits before them, the children's eyes sparkle with fascination, drawn by the allure of the unknown. Unbeknownst to the children, a troublemaker lurks in the shadows, plotting to disrupt the harmony of the fruit cart with its thieving intentions. Sensing danger approaching, the children huddle around their newfound friend, whispers of unity and bravery passing between them as they prepare to face the impending threat. In a flurry of animated discussion and quick thinking, the children hatch a clever plan, their faces alight with the spark of ingenuity and cooperation. As the mischievous monkey makes its move, a flurry of action unfolds as the children leap into action with swift resolve, determined to protect their fruity friend at all costs. With precision and skill, the children execute their plan flawlessly, outsmarting the misguided monkey with a clever ruse, their faces beaming with triumphant pride. Realizing its mistake, the contrite monkey extends a paw in a humble gesture of peace, seeking forgiveness from the children who gaze upon it with hearts full of understanding and compassion. Under the warm glow of the setting sun, the children and the once mischievous monkey share a feast of fruits, laughter and joy uniting them in a bond forged through forgiveness and acceptance. In a vibrant orchard, a spirited apricot named Apricot dreams of adventure. A crafty squirrel snatches Apricot, whisking him away into the depths of the orchard. Apricot gazes around, realizing he's far from his familiar tree, feeling a pang of worry. A kind blue jay appears, offering to guide Apricot through the orchard's maze. As dusk approaches, Apricot and his new companion hurry towards home, sensing the impending storm. As the storm rages, Apricot shields his friend, showcasing unwavering courage in the face of adversity. 
Unexpectedly, the wayward squirrel returns, offering its aid, uniting in a common goal to reach safety. In a race against time, the trio dashes towards home, the storm clearing behind them. As twilight descends, Apricot realizes that true companionship can blossom in the most unexpected of friendships. The bustling fruit festival in the tropical land was a sight to behold, with colorful stalls and excited characters. Following a trail of mango peels into the dense jungle, Lychee's curiosity grew. Pineapple and Mango exchanged worried glances as they whispered to each other about the disappearing fruits. With a map spread out before them, the fruit characters plotted their investigation with determination in their eyes. Hidden behind bushes, the trio watched a mischievous shadow creeping closer to the remaining fruits. Working together, the fruit characters set up a clever trap using a net and some juicy fruits as irresistible bait. Caught in the net, the mischievous intruder looked sheepish as the fruit characters closed in around it. With smiles and cheers, the festival attendees helped release the trapped fruits from cages, uniting for a common cause. Embracing each other warmly, the fruit characters were grateful for their friendship and the adventure that brought them closer together. In the heart of the market, a vibrant pomegranate carton stood out among the hustle and bustle. The carton's jovial face seemed to smile as it displayed its jewel-like pomegranates to the curious passers-by. A soft, mesmerizing glow emanated from a single pomegranate, capturing the attention of all who laid eyes on it. Gasps and whispers filled the air as the magical pomegranate defied gravity, sparking a frenzy of emotions among the onlookers. Hidden in the shadows, a mischievous figure observed the commotion with a sly gleam in its eyes, drawn to the magical fruit. Two unlikely allies exchanged a silent agreement, their determination clear as they prepared to intervene in the unfolding chaos. The pomegranate vendor's eyes sparkled with resolve, his mind racing with a clever scheme to thwart the raccoon's impending mischief. With calculated recklessness, the raccoon launched itself towards the glowing prize, claws extended in a daring bid to claim the magical pomegranate. In a moment of awe-inspiring revelation, the true magic of the pomegranate unfolded, illuminating the market with a breathtaking display of wonder. The once mischievous raccoon now stood in awe, its demeanor transformed by the magical display, paving the way for an unexpected alliance. Different species, once divided by curiosity and greed, now gathered as one, united by the shared enchantment of the magical pomegranate. Laughter and chatter filled the air, a symphony of unity and merriment resounding through the market, forever changed by the power of cooperation and wonder. In a world of red and green, a spirited explorer named Ruby sets out to uncover the secrets of the cranberry fields. Amid the vast expanse of crimson berries, Ruby discovers a hidden oasis aglow with magic. The once hidden grove now shines with an ethereal light, drawing Ruby deeper into its mesmerizing glow. With each disappearing berry, the land grows dimmer, signaling a looming threat to the cranberry community. In the midst of uncertainty, a trusted ally emerges, offering guidance and support in the face of adversity. United by a common goal, the duo sets off on a quest, their resolve unwavering in the face of uncertainty. As the last of the glowing berries fade away, a somber realization dawns upon the hearts of the persevering duo. From the shadows steps a trickster, their confession unraveling the mystery while sparking a new chapter of intrigue. Bound by a newfound understanding, the trio unites to forge a plan that transcends differences and celebrates diversity. Amidst laughter and cheer, the berries stand as one, their individual brilliance blending in a tapestry of unity and friendship. Among the bustling crowd of colorful beings, 
a lively and vibrant fruit known for its red hue and energetic aura suddenly appeared. A sense of unease spread through the fruit world as their respective leader vanished, leaving them in a state of chaos and vulnerability. From the shadows emerged a devious presence, its yellow exterior belying the sinister intentions that brewed within. With resolute determination, a motley crew of fruits banded together, each bringing a unique trait to aid in the quest for truth. The air hummed with tension as the raspberry faced off against a lemon, the clash of their opposing energies palpable in the charged atmosphere. Like a poisonous vine, rumors twisted and turned, sowing seeds of discord among the fruits, threatening to tear apart their unity. United in a common cause, the fruits stood as one, their unspoken bond radiating strength and resilience in the face of adversity. In a dramatic showdown of wits and wills, the fruits unleashed their cunning strategies, each move calculated to outwit the devious lemon. With the deceit unmasked and the truth revealed, harmony blossomed anew in the fruit world, as unity and friendship triumphed over betrayal. In the heart of Fruitopia, a mysterious summons sent ripples of intrigue through the fruit community. Kiwi hesitated at the entrance, uncertainty giving way to curiosity as he stepped into the dimly lit room. The gem's allure was undeniable, its importance shrouded in secrecy and danger. With a shared nod, the duo set their course, determination etched on their faces. Every step forward was a dance with danger, the stakes escalating with each obstacle overcome. Time seemed to slow as Kiwi's hand brushed against the gem, triggering a cascade of unforeseen consequences. Mango Malone's offer was a siren song, tempting Kiwi with promises of power and rebellion. The choice before Kiwi was a moral quandary, his resolve tested by the allure of betrayal and the call of unity. With a steady hand, Kiwi placed the gem back where it belonged, a silent promise of a brighter future for all fruits. As the day drew to a close, Kiwi and Pineapple Pete stood together, the true strength of their bond shining brighter than any gem. Chaos ensued as the storm clouds ominously gathered overhead. Plum sensed danger approaching as the wind picked up, stirring fear among the fruits. Envy burned within the apple as it watched Plum taking charge in the face of adversity. Determination etched on Plum's face as she sought unity among the uncertain fruits. Uncertainty hung heavy in the air as the fruits hesitated to follow Plum's lead. Innovation sparked in Plum's mind as she devised a risky yet hopeful plan of action. Malice glinted in the apple's eyes as it readied its deceitful scheme to thwart Plum's resilience. Quick thinking and courage defined Plum's actions as she countered the Apple's underhanded tactics. Victory tasted sweet as Plum emerged as a symbol of resilience and unity, the storm finally subsiding. Welcome to the Apple Orchard, where Apple, a lively and friendly Apple character, eagerly waits to go on a fruity adventure with little learners. While exploring the Apple Orchard, Apple stumbles upon a hidden pathway beckoning him to an exciting discovery. Apple's eyes widen with amazement as he stumbles upon a magical apple tree, its branches adorned with three apples, each with a unique color. Unbeknownst to Apple, an evil crow named Spike lurks nearby, eyeing the magical apples with a wicked plan in mind. Determined to protect the special apples, Apple seeks the help of his friends Berry the Strawberry, and Pinecone the Pinecone, sharing his worries and forming a plan. As Spike approaches, Apple and his friends form a protective circle around the magical apple tree, ready to defend it with all their might. Despite their best efforts, Spike manages to snatch one of the colored apples, leaving Apple filled with a mix of frustration and determination. Apple's mind races with a cunning plan as he realizes he must use his own unique abilities to outsmart Spike and retrieve the stolen apple. Spike, surprised by Apple's cleverness, tries to create chaos in the orchard, 
but Apple's determination keeps him focused and undeterred. Apple swiftly navigates through the chaos Spike created, his nimble movements allowing him to overcome obstacles and inch closer to the stolen apple. With a burst of triumph, Apple retrieves the stolen apple, successfully outmaneuvering Spike and reclaiming the magical power for their side. With Spike defeated and the stolen apple returned to its rightful place, Apple and his friends celebrate their victory, grateful for their teamwork and nature's gifts. As the sun sets over the apple orchard, Apple takes a moment to reflect on their adventure, filled with valuable lessons and a deeper appreciation for the world around them. In a vibrant vineyard, basking in the warm sunlight, lived a bunch of grapes. They were known for their delicious taste and cheerful personalities. One day, as the grapes enjoyed the sun, they noticed a mischievous squirrel sneaking into their home, stealing their prized grapes. The grapes united, determined to protect their vineyard from the thieving squirrel. Seeking wisdom, the grapes called upon their friend, the wise owl, for guidance. The grapes and the owl devised a clever plan to catch the squirrel, their whispers filled with determination. After several failed attempts, the grapes set a clever trap, luring the squirrel towards it. The squirrel proved to be more cunning than they anticipated, escaping their trap with a mischievous grin. However, in its escape, the squirrel stumbled upon a hidden treasure buried within the vineyard. Realizing the squirrel's desperate search for food, the grapes decided to share their bountiful harvest, fostering friendship and preventing further theft. The vineyard flourished with newfound harmony as the grapes and the squirrel became inseparable friends, teaching others the power of kindness and sharing. In the lively world of Fruitville, the farmer's market was abuzz with excitement. Every stall displayed a kaleidoscope of fruits, attracting eager customers. Unbeknownst to everyone, Strawberry found herself stuck inside a jam jar, her playful spirit now trapped in a confined space. She desperately searched for a way out, her small red body pressing against the glass. Strawberry's efforts to break free from the jar had unintended consequences. In her struggle, she accidentally knocked over a pyramid of oranges, setting off a chain reaction that sent the citrus fruits tumbling in all directions. Chaos erupted as the oranges crashed and rolled across the market, creating a mess. The vendors, red-faced and furious, cast accusing glares at Strawberry, holding her accountable for the havoc caused. They approached her, threatening to squash her if they managed to catch her. Plum, wise and level-headed, noticed Strawberry's plight realizing she needed help. Stealing themselves in quiet determination, Plum gathered a team of fruit friends to devise a plan, Mango and Kiwi, both ready to lend a hand. As the vendors closed in on Strawberry, her friends leaped into action. Mango and Kiwi performed gravity-defying acrobatics, drawing the vendors' attention away from Strawberry, granting her a precious moment to flee. Strawberry's first plan to escape the jar fell short of success. Despite her best efforts, the glass seemed impenetrable, leaving her trapped and growing more frustrated by the second. Her expressive, cartoonish face displayed a mix of determination and disappointment. In a moment of sheer ingenuity, Strawberry tapped into her cartoonish abilities. With a swift move, she slipped under the jar lid, escaping her confinement in a burst of elated freedom. Her eyes sparkled with triumph as she left the jar behind. But little did Strawberry know, her escape triggered a chain reaction of hilarious mishaps. Other fruits tumbled and collided, vendors stumbled and chased after them, creating utter mayhem in the market. Laughter echoed through the air as chaos prevailed. Fueled by a mix of rage and determination, the vendors united, forming an impenetrable barrier blocking any chance of Strawberry and her fruit friends leaving the market unscathed. With time running out and tensions escalating, a spark of brilliance ignited in Strawberry's mind. She rallied both fruits and vendors, convincing them to abandon their anger and join her in an impromptu dance party. Faces that were once scowling now radiated with infectious joy. 
As the rhythm of the music swayed the participants, the barriers between vendors and fruits crumbled. In this unexpected display of unity, laughter and friendship bridged the divide. The once angry vendors now shared in the joyous dance, finding solace in the power of music and camaraderie. As the day drew to a close, Strawberry and Plum, their faces beaming with laughter, sat together, sipping on a refreshing strawberry lemonade. The events of the day served as a reminder that friendship could be found even in the most unexpected and chaotic situations where humor and creativity thrive. In a land filled with enchantment, Zesty wakes up to a world that has lost its vibrant hues. His orange peel glistens in the morning light as he realizes something is terribly wrong. Zesty's zest for life withers in the dullness surrounding him. He longs for the return of color, for the world is no longer a joyful place. With newfound companions, Zesty, Russet and Sunny form an alliance. They understand that their mission is not just about restoring color, but about rekindling hope and joy. Curiosity beckons our brave trio as they enter the mysterious cave. With every step, they hope to discover the secret of the stolen colors. The trio traverses a treacherous jungle, teeming with twisting vines and unseen dangers. Determined, they push forward, guided by their unwavering mission. The cunning pixie, keeper of the stolen colors, taunts our heroes with her impish laughter. She toys with their desperation, reveling in the power she holds. A breathtaking chase ensues, colors bursting into life as the trio races after the elusive pixie. Driven by their mission and hearts filled with courage, they refuse to give up. In a standoff with our heroes, the mischievous pixie realizes the impact of her actions. Though she wanted to teach a lesson, she now understands the true gravity of her choice. The colors are returned one by one as the pixie surrenders her stolen treasures. Wielding the power of friendship, Zesty, Russet and Sunny bring life and vibrancy back to the once gray world. Triumphantly, Zesty, Russet and Sunny witness the magical transformation of their world. The once dull land now teems with life, joy and the unmistakable appreciation for the beauty that colors bring. With hearts overflowing with gratitude, Zesty, Russet and Sunny savor the fruits of their labor. They enjoy each other's company, cherishing the newfound understanding of the importance of gratitude and friendship. As the curtain falls on their epic tale, Zesty, Russet and Sunny stand together, their unity a symbol of perseverance. They step into a future filled with endless possibilities, forever grateful for the beauty they fought to preserve. Meet Banana, the sunny and cheerful cartoon character who loves to bring joy to children with its energetic personality. While happily swinging from a tree, Banana notices the despondent children and wonders what could be the cause of their sadness. Banana discovers that the children are feeling lonely and bored because they have lost their ball, their sole source of entertainment. Banana sets out with Monkey, Toucan, and other jungle friends to search for the lost ball, hoping to bring back joy to the children's lives. Through the dense jungle, Banana, Monkey, and Toucan embark on an adventurous journey to find the lost ball, their determination unwavering. Banana, Monkey, and Toucan reach the spot where the ball is stuck, but retrieving it proves to be a challenge they need to overcome. Banana comes up with a brilliant and imaginative plan to retrieve the ball, showcasing its resourcefulness and creativity. A mischievous squirrel suddenly interrupts their plan, attempting to steal the ball. Banana and its friends must outsmart the squirrel and protect the precious object. In a thrilling contest of cunning, Banana, Monkey, and Toucan use their teamwork and wit to protect the ball from the crafty squirrel. With their combined efforts and quick thinking, Banana, Monkey, and Toucan manage to keep the ball safe and return it to the children, bringing back their joy and laughter. As Banana prepares to leave, 
The children express their heartfelt thanks and invite Banana to play with them anytime, a testament to the lasting bond created. Banana moves forward, knowing that it has brought happiness to the children's lives, leaving with a sense of purpose and the knowledge that it can always make a positive impact. Cherry finds himself in the heart of the Cherry Festival, surrounded by an abundance of juicy red cherries. It's a cherry lover's dream come true. But as Cherry takes in the joyous scene, he notices a mischievous group of furry thieves causing chaos by stealing cherries. The squirrels run amok, their tiny paws filled with crimson treasures. Chaos ensues as the squirrels throw cherries at unsuspecting festival goers. Laughter mixes with startled shrieks as the juicy cherries collide with clothes and faces. Fueled by determination, Cherry enlists the help of his clever friend, Barry. Their eyes meet, a spark of mischief igniting a plan in their minds. Cherry and Barry move gracefully through the cherry orchard, their steps light as they weave through the trees like shadows. Their goal is clear, to outsmart the thieving squirrels and save the festival from chaos. The chase takes an unexpected turn as Cherry and Barry slip on the fallen cherries, their legs kicking up in a comical fashion. Trying to keep their balance, they narrowly escape one mishap after another, leaving the spectators in hysterics. Success seems within their grasp as Cherry and Barry corner the squirrels, their eyes gleaming with triumph. However, their elation turns to dread as a larger squirrel, Nutty, steps into view, pulling the strings of mischief. Their plans take an unexpected turn. Cherry and Barry share a determined glance, their minds racing with new ideas. Huddled together, they engage in a whirlwind of whispers and gestures, concocting a plan to capture the orchestrator of chaos and bring tranquility back to the festival. The festival reaches its climax as Cherry and Barry execute their ingenious plan. A massive cherry pie takes center stage, drawing the gaze of the crowd. Unbeknownst to them, Cherry and Barry lie in wait, ready to apprehend Nutty and restore order. The moment arrives as Cherry and Barry burst out of the giant cherry pie, Nutty captured in their clutches. The crowd erupts with cheer and applause, their jubilation echoing through the orchard. In the midst of the celebration, Cherry and Barry pause, savoring their triumph. Their faces radiate with satisfaction and pride, knowing they've saved the festival from chaos. Cherries held aloft, they soak in the adoration of the crowd, their hearts filled with laughter and camaraderie. As the sun sets, casting a warm glow upon the cherry orchard, the trees stand tall and laden with fruit. Festival goers revel in the festivities, cherishing the magic of cherries and the lasting memories created by Cherry and Berry's adventure. In the heart of the supermarket, Mango, a vivacious and mischievous mango cartoon, stands on a shelf poised for adventure. Mango's eyes widen as he somersaults off the shelf, abruptly landing in a shopping cart alongside a grumpy old lady named Mrs. Jenkins. Mrs. Jenkins scowls at Mango, frustration etched on her face as she insists that he vacate the cart immediately. Mango whispers animatedly into the ear of Sam, a friendly supermarket employee while discreetly pointing in Mrs. Jenkins's direction. Sam charmingly entertains Mrs. Jenkins, his hands gesturing wildly as he keeps her engrossed in conversation, diverting her attention away from Mango. With a mischievous glint in his eyes, Mango presses a button labeled automatic sliding doors, excitement rushing through him. Panic ensues as the automatic sliding doors go haywire, opening and closing rapidly, causing chaos and trapping unsuspecting customers in the store. Mr. Thompson, the store manager, rushes toward the malfunctioning doors, a mix of determination and confusion etched on his face. Mango darts through the supermarket aisles, a mischievous grin playing on his face leading Mr. Thompson on a thrilling chase through the chaos. Sam skillfully tinkers with the doors, his expertise evident as he repairs the malfunction, all while Mrs. Jenkins and Mr. Thompson remain unaware. 
Bango gives a heartfelt farewell to his newfound friends, leaving them with a warm smile and a promise to bring more laughter into the world. As the chaos settles and the supermarket returns to its serene state, Mango's mischievous footprint fades away, a reminder of the lively adventure he brought to the store. Meet Peach, a vibrant peach with a heart full of curiosity and dreams of adventure. In a sudden twist of fate, Peach is sent tumbling down into the unknown depths of the orchard. Lost and alone, Peach must find her way back before darkness descends upon the magical orchard. A kindred spirit in the form of a beautiful butterfly extends a guiding hand to Peach in her time of need. With wisdom beyond her years, an elderly owl joins the quest, offering insight and direction to the intrepid Peach. Time is running short as Peach faces the final obstacle, a daunting stream blocking her path back to the safety of her tree. A new challenge arises as a band of thieving raccoons threatens to derail Peach's journey home with their cunning ways. In a moment of unity, Peach and her companions devise a plan to outsmart the conniving raccoons and cross the stream. The raccoons, foiled in their attempts, can only watch in disbelief as Peach triumphantly leads her allies across the stream. As the day fades into twilight, Peach reflects on the power of friendship and teamwork, grateful for the bonds forged in the orchard. In the heart of the grocery store, amidst the symphony of colors, watermelon, the animated fruit with a zest for life eagerly awaits an opportunity to explore beyond its familiar fruit aisle. As Watermelon playfully meanders through the aisles, its round figure bounces with glee, oblivious to the impending encounter that's about to change its course forever. Watermelon's joyous exploration leads to an unexpected encounter, as it carelessly bumps into the crabby Granny Smith, jostling her from her peaceful spot and leaving her teetering on the edge of chaos. Granny Smith's fury ignites, boiling within her, as she blames Watermelon for the uproar she finds herself in, her voice resonating with frustration, demanding a restitution that the little fruit is clueless how to provide. Determined to make amends, Watermelon turns to Mango, the sage-like vendor who radiates warmth and understanding, seeking assistance in undoing the chaos it has caused. United in purpose, Mango and Watermelon embark on a quest through the labyrinth of shelves, their animated figures darting between towering products, their mission crucial as time ticks away and the stakes grow higher. With each empty aisle and fruitless corner they explore, the once vibrant Watermelon feels a heavy weight settle upon its animated spirit, the search for Granny Smith's sanctuary slipping through their grasp. Just as the world turns dim for Watermelon and Mango, hope glimmers like a beacon. The emergence of Lily, her eyes kind and perceptive, saves the day, restoring order and harmony to Granny Smith's world. With gratitude and a shared sense of accomplishment, Watermelon and Mango revel in their victorious reunion with Granny Smith, their animated bodies dancing and their laughter echoing through the grocery store's aisles. Stripped away from the familiar fruit aisle, Watermelon embarks upon a solitary journey, filled with trepidation and uncertainty, attempting to navigate the labyrinth of the store's endless aisles in search of its rightful home. After a series of trials and tribulations, Watermelon's resilience transcends the hurdles that stood in its way. Reunited with its kin, embraced by their vibrant presence, it realizes the true meaning of belonging and finds solace in the company of friends. As the final chapter unfolds, Watermelon's animated figure radiates contentment and gratitude, forever cherishing the adventure that shaped its appreciation for the place it rightfully calls home. In a sea of rushing feet and hurried conversations, a lost pineapple navigates the uncertain chaos of the city streets. In an unfortunate twist of fate, the pineapple's unstable trajectory shatters the harmony of a young girl's ice cream-filled bliss. 
The collision leaves Lily's face stained with salty trails as her brother, Max, looms over her, his fury demanding answers. In a gesture of contrition, the once defiant pineapple extends a gentle amends to the distraught young girl in the hopes of mending what has been broken. Side by side, the pineapple and Lily delve into the bustling undercurrent of the city streets, their quest for a new ice cream uniting them in an unexpected partnership. A fleeting shadow descends from above as a squirrel, bold and cunning, seizes the pineapple's earnings, leaving only fleeting whispers of stolen fortune in its wake. Driven by desperation, the pineapple transforms into a figure propelled by sheer will, chasing the thief that threatened to undermine its fragile hopes. Chaos unfolds as the pineapple's desperate pursuit sends it hurtling towards a fruit cart, toppling a symphony of oranges, apples, and bananas, transforming the once harmonious street into a disarray of collision and color. In a surprising alliance, Max and Lily push aside their initial animosity, their shared desire to right the pineapple's journey forging an unbreakable bond. Bound together by the glue of a common goal, the trio sets forth, synchronized in their mission to reclaim what has been taken, each step forming an unspoken pact to transcend the limitations of their individuality. Cornered and outnumbered, the squirrel reluctantly releases its grip on stolen treasures, a weight lifted and replaced by cascades of joy that course through their intertwined souls. Amidst the wreckage, the trio finds solace as they sit together, basking in the afterglow of their shared triumph, their hearts forever entangled in the tapestry of the unforeseen. In a world bursting with color, Blueberry, a lively and animated blueberry, thrived in its usual habitat, blissfully unaware of the mysterious twist of events about to unfold. One fateful day while exploring its beloved home, Blueberry's curiosity leads it to stumble upon a hidden clue tucked away in the depths of its familiar surroundings. To its surprise, Blueberry realizes that it is not the only one in search of the mysterious treasure, for Hazel, a playful and cunning squirrel, is also hot on its trail. Seeking guidance and protection, Blueberry seeks out Orion, an elderly and sagacious owl whose wisdom has been sought by many before. What ensues is a heart-pounding chase, as Blueberry and Hazel weave through the intricate web of a dense forest, their determination driving them forward despite their exhausted bodies. Outsmarting each other at every twist and turn, Blueberry and Hazel's rivalry grows tense, their minds constantly strategizing to outwit their opponent and claim the treasure for themselves. With the treasure almost within its grasp, Blueberry's hope turns to bitter realization as it discovers the truth. The treasure was merely a mirage, a clever ploy orchestrated by Orion to teach them a valuable lesson. In a surprising turn of events, Blueberry and Hazel reluctantly set aside their differences, acknowledging the futility of their rivalry and the importance of friendship. United now, Blueberry, Hazel, and Orion stand tall, their bond signaling a newfound strength and determination to protect their beloved forest from the unknown dangers that lie ahead. With their hearts filled with courage and friendship, Blueberry, Hazel, and Orion brace themselves, ready to confront the challenges that await them, their shared purpose leading the way forward. Through their combined efforts, the forest thrives once more, vibrant and alive as nature celebrates the power of collaboration, reminding all who witness it of the remarkable strength found in unity. With their mission accomplished, Blueberry, Hazel, and Orion bid a temporary farewell to the forest, knowing that their friendship and bravery will forever be etched in the memories of those they protected.